Hey guys, what's up? Nick here from Top Motions and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a cool effect which you can use as an outro or a logo reveal or a lower third or whatever. It's pretty simple motion graphics animation and I hope you like it. So before we get started, let's have a look at what we're gonna be creating today. Pretty cool, I guess. Now I have one more version. Yep, looks pretty cool. So let's just get started. First of all, I'll create a comp. I like to keep it 1920 into let's see 1080, 30 frames. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all I'll just rename this comp. Let's just call it main comp. And then I'm gonna create a new comp, name it box and change the width to 200 pixels and height to 200 pixels as well. And then I'm gonna create a new comp again and I'm gonna name it let's name it the strip and increase the width to 900 pixels then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click go to new and solid uh, it doesn't matter which color because uh, we're gonna change the color later so I'll just name it solid and let's just make a different color so we can figure it out when we edit it yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the box comp right here make sure that it is in the center and then I'm gonna bring down the scale properties go to about one second let's just make some room right here head on the scale properties go to about five frames and make it zero so we have a pretty lame animation so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this keyframe and here i have a script called ease and bees now it's a pretty awesome script if you are a motion graphics artist or and you do stuff with animations and stuff it's pretty helpful so now i'm gonna select and make it a quad and out and all and apply so now it gives some expression to animation and looks pretty cool you can see then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to one second and I'm gonna bring down the strip comp right here and I'm gonna alt and close bracket to cut it up and then I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to bring down the scale properties and uncheck this constraint property and I'm gonna make this let's see maybe right here and hit on the stopwatch then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to about let's see maybe two seconds and I'm gonna make this about 80% and then I'm gonna go to let's see four seconds and I'm gonna make it 100 so now we have something like it gets fast and then gets out slow looks pretty cool and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna align this box with the strip so I'm gonna select the P position and add you to bring down the keyframes and I'm gonna keyframe the position go to right about 2 seconds and just move it right there and go to about 4 seconds and move it yep pretty good so we have this animation looks pretty cool I'm gonna select this layers and hit F9 to ease it and just select this keyframe and hit F9 to ease it so make sure it gets pretty cool looks pretty good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both this com and pre-compose it and I'm gonna name it the final comp okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this layer a 3d layer right click new and create a camera 35 millimeters okay and then select this layer hit R to bring down the rotation properties and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to right let's see maybe one second and I'm gonna head on this orientation keyframe and I'm gonna go to about two seconds 
I'm gonna move it a little bit just a little bit right there and I'm gonna go to 4 seconds and I'm gonna let's see not 4 seconds I'm gonna go right there and I'm gonna move it right there then I'm gonna go to 4 seconds and I'm gonna close it up right there so what we have is this looks pretty lame yet but trust me guys it's gonna look pretty awesome at the end so select this final com hit U I'm gonna select the keyframe and hit F9 to e ease it then what we are gonna do is come right here with 4 second and I'm gonna text in something let's just text in subscribe and let's just make it 150 pretty big and make sure it is in the center and I'm gonna make this a 3D layer then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit on the rotation properties so hit R to bring down the rotation properties and I'm gonna rotate it like this 90 degree maybe yep 90 degrees Hit on the stopwatch, go to maybe a few frames forward right there and I'm gonna make this a zero and then I'm gonna go to 5 seconds and I'm gonna just move it a little bit right there looks pretty good so now what we have is BAM looks pretty cool so what we are gonna do now is I'm gonna select the layers and yep we're gonna hit on this thing this is gonna give some motion blur and make a animation look more precise you know you can see as it rotates it gives a motion blur right here and looks pretty awesome so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this text and drop an effect call light sweep light sweep let's see if I can type it yep right there you can see this light sweep right there I'm gonna go to 4 seconds I'm gonna go to a 4 seconds let's just play with the setting here so I'm gonna decrease the width to about 40 and intensity to about 20 and edge in intensity to about 40 looks pretty good and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe it so right there I'm gonna go to maybe right let's see maybe mm, yep right there I'm gonna move this to about right this then I'm gonna go to five seconds and I'm gonna move this to about right there at the end so now we it gives a little bit character to our animation and looks pretty cool to see right here pretty awesome yep then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a box and drop down my logo now you can drop down your logo I'm gonna scale this down maybe right there pretty good and I'm gonna change the color to let's see a white okay I'm gonna go to strip and change the color white okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna text in something you can text in whatever you want you can text in for your outro or something let's just text in dope sorry dope motions and I'm gonna change the color to mm, not a black but a grayish type okay and I'm gonna make this make sure to the, it is in the center I'm gonna make it 100 looks pretty good but now what you'll notice is it, it is not in the center you can see so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this a little bit to the side the right side and yep we have it right there looks pretty good yep 
let's just create a new background pretty quick doesn't matter which color because I'm gonna add an effect called ramp so R E M P ramp green ramp and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a radical color and sorry a radial color actually and I'm gonna make it a blue looks pretty good bring this up to the center and I'm gonna scale the black out so we get the screw effect right there yep so so far so good looks pretty awesome you can see right there now you can select the text you know and let's go to the strip and select the text and add an effect called drop shadow to make it look more precise and cool more elegant you know yup and make this intensity to maybe 70 percent increase distance a little right there and increase the softness a little bit and decrease even 50 will be better i guess yep looks subtle and cool then i'm gonna go to box right here and i'm gonna do the same let's just make it 10 oh maybe let's see right there make it 25 as well looks pretty good it just looks better you know you can see right here no, I don't think the dope motion is looking pretty cool, so I'm gonna decrease the opacity or maybe distance. Maybe let's make it a pipe. Yep, looks good now. Then, what I'm gonna do is you can see we're almost done with it, looks pretty cool. Let's just render it pretty quick. It's getting rendered now on PC a little slower so it may take a little while but yep we have it looks pretty cool now you can take your time you know add just the keyframe as you want it looks pretty awesome I guess yep now to add a little bit of character or element you can see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna just create a stroke right here and I'm gonna increase the stroke with maybe right there and I'm gonna add trim parts right here we go right here go to about one second or maybe maybe I'll go to about let's see 15 frames I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit then the stopwatch of the end go to 20 frames bring this to about 100 go to 25 frames then the stop start stopwatch go to one second and bam now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate it and i'm gonna change the color maybe right there i'm gonna move it right there i'm gonna duplicate one more time change the color I'm gonna move it right there now you can displace a little bit maybe let's see by one frame so it comes in right there you can see yep so now you can see we get a little bit of character to it just put it behind you know behind our work maybe right there yep so there we have it looks pretty cool pretty awesome and I hope you learned something new today and I hope it helps you to create some cool motion graphics take your time and make it look more precise and more intricate you know so Thanks for watching guys.